I'm gonna share five video editing tips to save you time and create better videos using PowerDirector. Tutorial links for all the tips I share will be in the video description. It's time for a tip drill. Tip number one is invest in a powerful computer. No one likes to experience crashes, lagging, or freezes during editing. It's super frustrating. If you wanna avoid these issues, make sure you invest in a powerful computer. Just because you have a new computer doesn't mean you got a computer that's powerful enough to handle video editing. Editing software relies on your CPU or your processor and your RAM or your memory. They're the most important things to buy, so focus most of your funds on those items before getting other things. After you have those, focus on getting a video graphics card with at least 10 gigabytes of memory. The last thing I'd worry about is your solid state drive or your SSD. Just make sure that it has more than one terabyte of space on it. The link to my PC specs is in the video description. The next tip on the menu is to organize your clips before you begin editing. This can be done before you even start shooting video. Just identify the types of shots that you want in your video and create categories for them. Once you have your videos imported into PowerDirector, you can create tags to organize them into groups. You can create folders, name them, and drag the clips into each folder. Once you have your clips organized, you should also organize your timeline using the storyboard mode. The storyboard allows you to tell your story by placing your clips in the order you want them to appear in when the video is complete. You can learn more by watching my eight steps to create better video tutorial. Tip number three is to use keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys. Shortcut keys speed up your editing workflow and help you to be more efficient. They allow you to navigate to most functions of your software without using the mouse. Just a simple press of a keyboard button or a combination of keyboard strokes lets you get things done. You can even create your own custom hotkeys so they're easier to remember. You can check out my shortcuts tutorial to learn more. Okay, PD peeps, if you're finding this video useful, click clack that like button. It gives me an indication that I'm building an audience by creating helpful content for my viewers. The fourth tip is to cut to the beat of the music. If you're using music in your video, you should cut to the beat of the music as much as possible. Cutting to the beat brings the viewer along with your story by synchronizing what they see with what they hear. Check out my beat sync tutorial to see exactly how to get your music and your videos in sync. Our fifth and final tip is to always clean out your temp files. Temp files or temporary files are created to hold information while your file is being created or modified. PowerDirector uses them while you're editing your video to store and move data, manage settings, and more. These files stay on your PC after you're done editing, but when you're done editing, they're simply taking up space on your machine. So once you've archived your project, you should go in and remove the temp files from your PC. I'll show you exactly how to remove temp files in my What is Disk Space tutorial. If you wanna see my entire video editing workflow in all of its magnificent splendor, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to smash my cartoon face to subscribe, hit me up with your comments, and drop me a like down below.